Good evening. My guest tonight is perhaps one of the most powerful non-elected politicians the country has ever known. As wife of the former president, she was perceived as having great influence over the previous government. What is the role of the first lady? And when, if ever, was her perceived power real? Nana Kunedu Ajiman Rawlings, welcome to Time with David. Thank you very much. You've been, we haven't seen you for a long time. What have you been doing? Busy with my household, mm. busy looking after my husband, busy with the movement's activities. That is taking a lot of my time. So, busy with do, the movement's do, activities. And also doing a few international um, commitments, you know, conferences here and there. Is the movement still active? Very, very active. Yes. The only thing I see about the movement is a whole variety of, of, of accusations about it and the fact that, well, in a sense, at the moment, the Auditor General is looking at it. What is your reaction to that whole thing? Well, it's very, very, you know, uh, unfortunate and it's a great misconception. Um, what is a great misconception? The con misconception about the, the uh, uh, movement's activities, you know, about the negative things that you, you know, mm. are coming into the newspapers and so on. No, essentially all they've said is that it never had audited accounts. That is not correct. That is not true at all. Mm. We've done a lot of audited accounts. In fact, we always audit our accounts. But specifically for some of the projects, we've had to bring in external accounts, not accountants, auditors, to audit these accounts. Because what are your latest accounts? What uh, are the latest? I believe what year? In, um, December of, or November of 2000. And so you were suggesting that they are auditing accounts which are already audited. Is that what you're saying? Yes. Or is this Always yeah. auditing But of course not audited by the Auditor General. S sometimes, no, no, not audited by the Auditor General. Mm. Once I requested for it because mm. the, um, the, the donor agency, that was the African Development Bank, was slow in getting certain things done. So I requested that the Auditor General should come and help us but out. But this is a legitimate exercise, you agree, that the Auditor General of the Republic of Ghana would look at the accounts of an NGO? No, it's not. It's Why not? not? Le it's not legitimate. Mm. You can only look at an NGO's accounts when you are giving the NGO some money. You're you know, saying that, that NGOs that, must not keep audited accounts? or I, No, 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 I'm not saying so. What are you saying? I'm saying that there's only the legitimacy when the NGO is being given monies from, you know, the party mm. involved. If it's a government or if it's uh, some donor agency, they have the right to ask for audited account. But uh, I mean, if they are no, um, they're not giving them any money, they don't have that right. Mm. It is the responsibility of the NGO to audit their accounts and you know present their their accounts, uh, audited accounts to the Registrar General. Mm. Is it That's not correct that given the profile that you have and as wife of the former president, that there were certain privileges and so on that that particular NGO benefited from? What kind of privileges are we talking about? God knows, you would know. I mean, what no, kind no, no, of privileges? No, 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 I mean, I don't know. But mm. I can tell you mm. that um, being the leader of that NGO, mm. I took advantage of that position and brought in a lot of money, you know, to Ghana, mm. to, the N to my NGO. And to 31st benefit, December Women's 31st Movement. 31st December Women's Movement. And it did benefit communities and ordinary Ghanaians. But is that not the problem? 31st December Women's Movement, mm -hmm. a name that straight away is partisan. How do you manage to take along all the women of this country when you, you name an NGO after a, a, a particular political regime? Is that not is polarizing? It, is, is, is 31st December a party? Well, it might not be a party, but the fact still remains that it belongs to a particular political faction, doesn't it? No, no, it no. Why, you because you, a lot you, of... You think that all the people in Ghana share the value of the revolution? No, I'm not saying that either. Right. But there are people who were part of the 31st December revolution up to the point of, you know, going into multi-party system yes. who did not become members of the party mm -hmm. that became the NDC. I'm not talking I about the NDC. I'm talking about the movement that you had. I will come no, to no, the no, NDC. No, 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 because you are, you are linking it to a party yeah. and I have to explain it. But I'm saying, you are saying that with that NGO, mm -hmm. you do things for Ghana. Yes. I'm suggesting to you that you do things possibly for people that belong to that tradition. No. Mrs. Rawlings, there are people that have, have, as you know, the whole issue of 31st December, even as an event that was being celebrated, was polarizing, which is part of why there was a lot of debate about it. I'm suggesting that the name of the movement is not helpful. I disagree with you totally. We've been to two congresses, and we've requested for the change of the name, and the women have said no. They the, want to the keep 31st it. 31st December but, women. But the point is that what work are we doing? 
the women are involved in so many things. They are doing bead making, they are doing beekeeping, they are, they are you know, cultivating snails and mushrooms, they are making gary, they are making you know, baskets, agriculture. Why you don't know? we so, hear of that? Where is the impact? Well, I mean, this country is still day in, day out talking about the need to promote small-scale people, yes. to empower women. Mm -hmm. do, do you think that you succeeded in empowering women? I think that to some extent, yes. I can tell you that we cannot quantify what we've done. We cannot quantify it at all, but we've actually had a great influence on the, the um, Ghanaian women. And um, it's up to that's what, statisticians. That's, how, that's what you think? No, that's not what I think. It's what I see. I go to a place at a time. I know how they're like. I go there a second, a third time. Their lives have changed. Give me specific I, examples where you think you have eradicated poverty or, or if I you like minimized it, Thank where you. you've improved the, the standard of living. We have improved the, lives, uh, the, the quality of life for a lot of women in a lot of districts and a lot of villages. You go to a place like Bali district, until the movement went there, there were certain things that they were doing all right, but they were not doing shea butter in any great quantities. You go to the northern region, certain sections, today they are exporting to body shop which is a, a, a shop that does a lot of cosmetics. And they come here and they buy from these women. The money is good to these women. So the women in so Bali, if I was to visit there, will, 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 not will just show Bali, that they are many, different many, from many other people places. in other parts of the, of the northern region, of the upper region. Not just Western Bali. Bali. You, give, you asked me for ex an example, yeah. and I'm giving yeah. you one. Yeah. But if you, if you go to Bali, you will definitely see that the women have changed. Yeah. If you go to certain parts of the northern region, you can go to Kayaga, you can go to several areas, or you can go down south. Go to uh, uh, the Middle Belt, mm. Brown and Hafo. Mm. Go to Ashanti region. Mm. They, we have so many projects there. Mm. But did they vote for you, these people? Do you think vote they for voted me. for you? For I mean, voted for, for the my NDC party. government, which obviously I, the, you must I, be linked to in some form. I cannot say that. Mm. I think that everybody's vote is their constitutional right, what? and I cannot mm. I cannot mm. force anybody to vote mm. where I am voting. Why do you think the NDC lost the last election? Why did I think mm. the NDC lost it? Several reasons. Some say people didn't like you. Me, you I was standing. As a person. No, it doesn't matter. They recognize your link to the party. You don't get very good public press, do you? I mean, people but are that, critical that is, that is a calculated thing. I think you know it and I know it. But is it not possible that, that that's the wrong way to look at it? That to what? constantly see a criticism as something which has been no. manipulated? No. Because you don't do anything wrong? No, not that. I'm not saying... What? I'm saying I don't take that action. I don't take la that line. Did you, because did you influence let, let me just answer this. Right. Let me just answer this. I want to tell you that if uh, people did not vote for the NDC within the, the movement, then it means that I'm on the right track. Because we, as an executive, have always told the women that, look, you must be politically aware. You must know what your rights are. Must know what's you good must for know you. what is good for you. Mm. So, so they decide, they that, decide that themselves mm. where they want to vote. Mm. And that, mm. for me... Just by the fact that you do good things for them, then you stand on the platform of the NDCs, and then they still they vo they vote against it. And you but think that's that's not doesn't reveal something? No, I think it's a, it, it reveals something, all right. But it reveals that people have been conscientized, and they have the right to choose. It's well, not like in the other days where people just follow because somebody says so. Mm. You know, so you are a powerful woman. I'm not. What? Why? <laughs> I don't know why you're saying I'm powerful. Maybe you should explain it further. Did you not influence? a lot of decisions in the previous government just by being the wife of the former president. I wished I did. You didn't? I didn't. You never had ministers removed or Not shifted. at all. You never influenced in the background? Not at all. Ambassadors, people all over the world. You Absolutely never not. Them. How come there, no, there were not enough women in there? Yeah. I was pushing for women to be put in places. Yeah. I, yeah. I hardly got any. But you were I not very, only very pushing little. for women to be put in places. Yes, I there was. Were, but there were people in places already. Men. Quite a few men, that's right. Men. And we, there is the perception mm -hmm. that a lot of these people felt in yeah. many ways that they had to be on your right side no. in order to remain in their positions. It's now, a, you know it's, that it's, that is it's a, a It's a very sad perception. It's a wrong perception. So you, didn't, you don't try to influence anything? Not at all. I do in some cases. What, in what cases? Let, let me give you an instance. Mm. Uh, for example, I travel to a place. Mm. I see clearly mm. that the road that you know, we go on could be better, but mm. it's been done to a certain point for whatever reasons. I don't know. Mm. So if I, when I come back home, I make my report and I say, I've seen this and I've seen that and I've seen that. So I give it to the sector minister mm. and I give a copy to my mm. husband mm. so that, you know, whatever it is, they can, they can correct it. Mm. In that respect, yes. Mm. 
But as to whether the minister is, you know, taking uh, uh, his lunch in some place or whether or how he does his work, and I women and high-profile women that did not belong to the 31st December mm -hmm. women's movement. Like, who? were you proud of these women? Well, there must absolutely. have been a lot of them. Absolutely. They did you not know, have to join the movement. Not at all. We, and they were not what, victimized what's, what's for not being... What's the point of joining the movement yeah. when you're already a high-profile person? We're trying to empower people well, to Well, so reach, that you can add value to it. You're looking no, 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 for no, no, high-profile people. We, it, no, does, it, does, uh, it does good for the movement. But we did it? have a lot of high-profile people. We did have a lot of um, organizations which were more like uh, bankers. They were bankers or, uh, um, you know, other women's associations which were affiliated to the movement, mm. and they had very high-profile people. Do, 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 but, do but, you, um, you know... Do you, do you miss being First Lady? No, not at all. It was a lot of work. Would you, is it the sort of thing that if you had a chance to be again, you would like? I don't like to look into the future. But let me say this, that it was a lot of diff, you know, hard work, and it was very difficult combining my total you know, support for the movement and getting women empowered and, yet off, and then trying to do my little bit, you know, in the executive uh, area. And yet if you had opportunity again, you would be? No, I didn't say so. I said I but don't that want is to my look question. into the future. That's what but I'm saying. Let's be hypothetically. I'm, I'm saying to you, if you had the chance to be first lady again, would you, would you like it? How, how am I like supposed to, to answer that? Because if, if hypothetically, right. Somebody becomes a president, you are married to the person, you divorce the person. So, obviously... No, no, I'm asking you. If what? If the person becomes a president, because you, you are married to the person... So it's accidental. You say you don't like So it's accidental. It. So it may be accidental, so but I'm saying... So do you see why? The Constitution says, the Constitution says that um, you can have two terms, okay, at any point of time. He's done his two terms. I think the choice will be his. To come back. No, I said the choice would be his. His to do what? To, to stick to the Constitution. Which means what? To, to not to come back? Because you know, I, I'm not going to go into the interpretation of the Constitution. Mm. That's mm. number one. Number two, I'm not going to go into being a first lady because I never enjoyed myself as, in that position as a first lady. Do you I expect didn't. us to believe that, that you never I am enjoyed you, being first lady? I'm telling you, I did not enjoy myself being a first lady. Whether you want to believe it or not, that's your problem. But, but I'm we, telling you, the problems were so you immense. Were, you were on so many platforms. You articulate all the time articulate the critical what? role of a first lady. What is the role of a first lady? You just said to me, an unelected person, I think first ladies should stay at home. What do you think? I think you are backward. So what do you think they should do? <laughs> I think you are really backward. So what you should say that. they do? If anybody gets the opportunity mm. to be in a certain position at a particular time in their lives, they must make lives better. They must use but their position. They must make life to get, get involved life better. In things. We do not elect no, no, first no, no, ladies. No, no, no. We elect their I husbands. I did nothing to show that I was doing anything that showed that I was elected. Yeah. I was doing something with the women. Our topic today is the concept of productivity. Since we started this arm school workshops, the perception and the mentality of the people have really changed. We try to get graduates with different diverse backgrounds from the universities. And we kind of train them or treat them as management trainees on the job. We have different programs. We have the apprenticeship program, for instance, and now we have about 50 apprentices in the mechanical side. And I've built a team of young graduates around me, and we are working together. We were doing the work of what poor expertise were doing before. And I, did, I think this is really a remarkable moment. Are you involved now in the reorganization of the NDC body? I am a member of the body, but I have never been involved, no. You're a member of the NDC? But you've never been I, involved. No, no, I didn't say that. I asked about the NDC. You said you, I said, you, you asked me, am I involved in the reorganization of the NDC body? I said, I, 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 I'm a member of the board, of the body, but I'm of not... Of the board, possibly? Of, of the, the body. Of, the, of what body is this? The reorganization NDC? body. Right. But I'm not... It's like a committee. It's like a committee. It and is you're a part committee. Of it. It's a reorganization committee. There is. And, but you're I, not involved I, in reorganization. No, I'm not. How is that? Because I'm busy with the movement's activities. For me, that is my prime factor, primus factus. 
and you sit, you yeah. take a seat on a political party reorganization committee, a party that has lost an election, is keen mm -hmm. to come back, and you sit on it and don't do anything you, because you want to spend your time with the movement. Because I told them. I told the chairman of the committee... And yet they wanted you to be... No, there. let me explain. I told the chairman of the committee that I would not mind doing things with them in Accra, you know, because I have so much to do with the movement. So if they were doing things in Accra, I didn't mind joining them. But if they were going out and so on, I might not be able to do it. And then number two, the first part of their, um, their work, I was out of town. I was, you know, I wasn't well and I was in hospital and all that. So they did things without me, and I thought, why come and push myself into it when they've already started working, they've got a group together. So that's why, you know, one of the reasons why, even for their crowd when I didn't join, but do because you realize, I was busy, also busy. Do you, you realize know? that people draw much more links between your activity and the previous government than, as you say, you, you think, and therefore you could have damaged it substantially with a lot of things. I'll give you an example. Let mm -hmm. me give you an example. For example, it might not have been a political thing. It might have been a personal thing. Mm -hmm. But when you went on radio at a certain point, prime time radio, to explain a personal matter uh, 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 between, say, your, your, your daughter and a, a boyfriend, do you realize that that did quite a bit of damage to that party? When you, till today, everybody likes to talk about the so-called identification haircuts. Can you see that link? And would you have done things differently? That's my question. David, I'm powerful. let me tell you this. Whether I'm a first lady or I'm an ordinary citizen in this country, I will go in defense of my children any day when I know they're doing the right thing. On I, will never, I will never follow a child if the child is doing the wrong thing. I will deal with that child. But when that Why child is... Because that's where they were actually dealing with her. But is it not, is it not know, almost petty to I, descend to that please, level? Because don't call it petty. It is I don't know. Maybe if you have your children at a certain age mm. and this is going on, you can call it petty. Mm. But for me, it wasn't petty. Mm. It was destroying a child who was growing up properly. This, you know, destroying that child totally. And, you know, I, I, I honestly don't want to go into this again. Do you think your radio appearance helped that? I don't want, to go, I want to go no, into this again. I'm finalizing it, but do you think your radio no, I'm appearance... Not to, I'm not even going to do comment you think it on this that? again. Because there are people that say that it's almost... David, I won't comment on it again. It's ample It's finished. Because if I go into it again, we'll have the whole hula balloon starting again. I've heard it again on the radios. I've decided I won't comment. Because for me, I have checked my daughter, and I'm happy with what's going on. I don't want to comment on this matter anymore. Is your... I honestly don't. How is your husband? He's well. Keeping body and soul together. Once in a while, they complain that he's not being treated well. Is that correct? Is that a fair criticism? Well, it depends on what you mean by he's not treated correctly. No, no, I'm saying you say that. We hear that perhaps some monies due him have not been paid and so on. I'm saying, what is your own view of the way this government is treating your, 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 your husband? David, I don't know if you've looked at the Constitution itself. Hmm. If you've looked at what the Constitution says, you'll know what should be done and what is they've said done. they will i've saw it in the papers in the work yeah. well but, but what is your view what is your written view? it in the papers a number of times is he happy um i don't think that you should you know ask me uh, things, things about like him. that when you meet him you can ask him these questions but i'd like to say that you know in all the things that are supposed to be done mm. that are not being done mm. a number of occasions you know have uh, come up where individuals have asked the, pre the, the, the present government about it. Mr. Obechebi Lamte said that if the uh, sitting president and his ministers have not been settled, how do we expect that a past president can be settled? He has said this two times. Letters have been written. You've asked me a question. Let me finish it. Let me, yeah. Let me finish it. Yeah. Two letters have been written yeah. to him. And he says that we should wait. So we are waiting. Yeah. So, uh, you know, I don't want to go into see, that area anymore. Can you see anymore. the difficulty that, that you face as, a, as an expert family? I mean, because here you are complaining about the way you're being treated out of office. Did I complain to you? No, I'm saying that there have been complaints. There have mm -hmm. been complaints. You've just complained a bit that certain things have been done. Do you, do you see that people wonder where you get that moral authority? Because you have been in power before and they have been experts like Le Mans. and I'm s all I'm saying to you is do you get a, do you reflect on these things do you mm -hmm. see that perhaps you could have done things differently to justify your case now Mr. 
Call the, me David. I'll call you David Ampofo. No, don't add my surname. I will add it. We know each other well enough to call <laughs> you. You are my cousin, but I'll add it. Right. <laughs> David Ampofo. You know, you know I've always called you that anyway, so what's your problem? But why do you call me that? Because it's, it's more comfortable for me. Please. So I yeah. hope you don't mind. No, I don't mind. I just oh, rather you call me David. <laughs> you know, um, I'm not going to uh, go into what has been done, what was done for Mr. Lee. I asked you one question. I don't yeah. know the detail about what you did for Lehman. I'm just saying, no, no, can no, no, you no. see I'm, why no, no, I'm people I'm want you not to be no, treated you properly? No, you didn't ask me one question. You asked me three questions, okay. and I'm going to answer them. To begin with, I believe that, you know, what was done for uh, President Liman and his family, be it housing, be it financial, I'm not going to go into that because I don't have figures, but I know that something was done. But we are moving from one constitutional rule to another constitutional rule. There are two different cases. So if you tell me that because, some, uh, you know, we moved from a constitutional rule, there was a, a revolution, things were done in a certain way, that should be perpetrated, then all of us can say, okay, you grow, you, you, uh, if that's what, if that's what you're saying. are okay because they are from the revolution. But when you get into I didn't say that. What is the comparison I'm saying, you're drawing? I'm saying, I'm saying that. You cannot say that because it happened from a non-constitutional rule, from a constitutional rule to a non-constitutional rule. It should also happen from a constitutional rule to a constitutional rule. That's what I'm saying. So it, there's no grounds for comparison. That's what I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. You don't think it's legitimate at all for people to say... I'm not saying it's not legitimate. I'm they saying they that there's not. no ground... They must not compare. You can't compare the if two. If they compare it, that's it's not can, convenient to the, you. So they mustn't compare. No, 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 no. It's so, not my convenience. I've so why mustn't they that. compare? It's because, real. Because the two situations are different. You and I know that at the time of the revolution, everything was upside down. David, you know it. You know it. And for those of you who actually left the shores of Ghana... When there was total chaos, you may not know what happened. But I'm telling you that it took time, effort, energy, and a lot of sensitization and conscientization to get achieved? the country into this. Absolutely. Course. What have you achieved? To get a country where? To get well, a country to know, a point where it is, um, it, it is a highly indebted poor country? That is an achievement. What have we achieved? Mm. You, David. That's the achievement. You. What about I the country? I can see you. As you know, somebody and who I has see achieved. a lot of other people. That is the achievement. Who, who, yes, because... At an individual it, level, not in terms of... That is your achievement. It is the individuals that make the country. So your achievement you is that, that certain people have achieved and you're satisfied no, with No, no, this is certain people. Mm. I'm, I'm giving an example straight to you. You said David Ampufu I said has you. achieved. No, and no, that's no, no, no. I didn't say that. You know, don't quote me wrong. What I are you saying? You. I've done what? I've changed. Your circumstances have changed. I've become... Your situation has changed. I'm richer. I don't know how I'm rich you prosperous. are. I'm more prosperous. I don't know how rich and you are. And that is your making. But definitely... Oh, Please don't be personal. No, I'm saying... Please is it, don't be is so, it, so subjective. So, so what Let, is, let's what deal is with the, what issues. Is, what, is the relevance, deal with what is the relevance of my prosperity? I'm saying that... It's an example if, of achievement. Yes. If things are not going well in a country, mm. certain things just don't happen. I see. And so, looking at you, I can see that certain things have happened. I'm an example of how... You are of an the good things you did of, for Ghana. No, not me. Let's talk a little more about the, <laughs> what you achieved. Apart from, I'm curious, apart from Are you, are you apart talking from about the government? I'm talking about the, re absolutely, I'm referring to you're the referring NDC to time. The, I'm referring, absolutely. But I think we should... A whole move. revolution tradition plus two that's years as a constitutional regime. That's what I'm referring to. Two terms. To. Two terms. Two terms. Yes, that's even more, okay. so eight years. All right. Yes. You want to get that? Yes. Let's, let's start from somewhere. Mm -hmm. Let's look at the educational institutions, for example. It's co collapsed. I think you're, you're completely lost. Please, 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 you've given me, really you've asked me something. The let educational me, system let me is gone. answer, okay? okay? You've given me a blank card. I want to talk about the educational system. When the PNDC took over, how many schools did we have in Ghana? You probably don't even know. So it's the quantity? Not the quantity. What the is quality it? The quality of people. Of education. Of education. Has improved. It has improved. It has improved. There were kids in classrooms in Accra who could not read and write and they were in standard seven. Has that changed? That has changed. That has definitely changed. Teachers' perception and perceptic, of, uh, pers what's the word? Perspective of what should be done has changed. What the children are learning has changed. You talk to a child. Now they, now they don't know anything. No, no, children no, I, 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 dis now. I disagree with you totally. You know, I have children who are products of this um, 
of the new system. Yeah, but that's another matter, so, but they're no longer here. That's, another that, matter. that's not the issue. Not, not, the issue is they are products of this place. And I want to tell you that they are products, products to a point. of the. No, 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 no. They are products up to SSS. So why don't you keep them here to complete SSS. it? Why did you not keep them here to complete their education because, in a system that is. Because you and I know that's the what? political problems they were going through personally. Where I mean, are when, they parents, now? when parents are in, in, in politics. They keep their children aside. It, no, no, no. You should not inflict it on their children. But that's what look, you look at. Look at that's what you history. did with that radio interview. Look at our history. Mm -hmm. Look at our history. Mm -hmm. From Nkrumah's time, the kids were not here. They didn't have to go through the bashing that our children went through. Look at Buzia's time. Their kids didn't go through any bashing. Look at Afifa's time, Achampo, all of them. None of them, Liman, none of them had the bashing that our children went through. And yet, even they were taken out. So what are you telling me? It's the things because you, of it's political the things you, difficulties. It is the things you know? perhaps you did that no, resulted I, I totally disagree. No, I'll give you an and example. And I don't want to go along that no, line anymore. Where are the children? I don't want to go along that line. No, anymore. I would like to know where they're in school abroad. Two of abroad. them are in... They're in school abroad. Yes, two of them are in university and two are, you know, in uh, boarding school. Is, is it correct? Is it, or is it one of these rumors, again, that they are in... One or two of them perhaps are in the... Uh, in the UK and perhaps some of the best schools in the world. Is that correct? I'm that I, I don't know if they are the best schools in the They're world. They're expensive schools? They are, I don't know because we are not paying the fees. You see, but that's They're part of the problem. You see, we are not paying the fees. Oh, it's not friends that are funding them? The ones in the university, yes. But not friends the Friends are funding them. Yes. Don't you see the problem with that, Mrs. Rawlings? That people wonder, why would friends spend so much money on your children? Why Unless, not? of course, they were paying you back for something. No, 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 no. They are not even people who have ever lived in this country before. They're just like you and your children. There are not people who have ever lived here before. There are people who my parents have known, people that we have known on our trips and so on, and that's how they are looking at There are not people who have businesses here. There are not people who have, you know, lived here. So, uh, you know, I don't agree with you. I totally disagree. What's the future? Where, 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 where do you go personally from now? Where, what are your plans? My plans are with the movement. I'm working very hard with the movement. With the 31st, got, with December, the 31st December Women's December Movement. Women's movement Will you change the name? Which is not going to change the name. Which is not going to change the That's name. That's not good. Unless, That's not tactically unless, smart. Yeah, listen, unless we go for a Congress. And the women we, decide to change that. Absolutely. Is. Because I am only the representative on top. The women form the bulk. And I've told you before that we brought this down twice mm. and they, they pushed us apart. Mm. You know, really didn't want it. So unless we go for Congress and they decide that this is what we want, then we will do that. Because so but what for the moment, we are, are busy doing with organizing. organizing. The daycare centers, you know, all teachers have been taken out of the schools. So we are trying to get teachers to get back to the schools. Because, look, these children need us. They are in vulnerable places. They are in Choco, they are in Nima, they are in Hueshi, they are in Otribedia, they are in Bunkrunku. So we want to make sure that these kids also have a, you know, a chance in life. You want to give the, the, we want the, the poor to children have a the chance. chance. And the only way... It's when they have this early childhood development program and they are able to move from step A to step B. Don't you want then to rest? Then they go to class Don't you too. want to rest? Is it not time for you to sit back, enjoy yourself for so many years? Mm. You just described all the hardship of being first lady. Why don't you sit back and relax? I'm relaxing with my job. With the 31st Amendment? With movement. the movement activities. I am relaxing. It gives me a lot of relaxation. Still political ambition? Is there some what political do you, what ambition? Do you, do you have political ambition? To influence to, to, politics, it need not be that you will become president. But politics, does it interest you? Politics influencing is a very the way things will happen in Ghana. Politi politics is very interesting, as you yourself know. And you are highly political too. No, and I'm not. You are political. political. You are. You are highly I, political. I'm a businessman. I'm, oh, I'm yeah, a journalist yeah, yeah. as well. You are, you are poli political. And every being in this country should be political. Because That's if, why we are be. Not, if we are not political, Things will go wrong and we can't even see it. What do you think of this government? We can't even... What do you think of the performance of this government after 10 months? D did you really want me to answer what you asked me? About this government? About the politics. Oh, absolutely. I mean, you're interested in politics. I'm keen to know, you know, essentially now... So, what so you are do. you switching it off to something else? Because it's important I, that I want on. to tell you. I want to tell you. What? That because I'm interested in politics, yes. that's why I, I use the UN Declaration on Women, that women should be de developed politically, socially, economically, and culturally. And we push this political thing so they can make cho a choice, informed choices on what they want. Formerly, I was a, a cocoa farmer, but at the end of the year, because our land is not suitable, we can't get more money out of it. So I learned citrus. 
I was taught, and later when I came, I get more ideas from some of this. That's why I have been able to achieve this. Even if I die, my parents and my children, my family will also earn money from the trees I'm planting. Customers in today's competitive business environment want a bank that provides products customized to meet their specific needs. With a group of seasoned bankers, the First Atlantic team combines experience in traditional banking with unparalleled ability for innovation. For customized banking solutions that suit you, the answer is First Atlantic. First Atlantic Merchant Bank. Expertise and innovation. you do your own research, if you do at all, what impression do you get of what people think of you as a person? I'm not referring now to 31st December Women's Movement. Mm -hmm. They don't have a choice really, do they? What impression do you get? I don't know. Does it not, is it not important for you to get mm -hmm. a sense of that so that perhaps yeah. you know when to step back and when to, to move forward? Is it not important? In so far as maybe I was the wife of the president, yes. But now as an ordinary citizen, I think I should be left alone to do my work. What I want to do, and I should not be harassed in the course of doing it. Even as you sit on the NDC it. committee? I'm not on the NDC committee. No, I mean committee. the committee for reorganizing it. Yeah, you, you see. You have you a, you have a, it's the same thing, really. But yeah. Isn't that a private, job, a private thing? That's private. To be yeah, to be where I want to be. The NDC Isn't it my constitutional power? right? Don't I have a right to belong where I want to? I thought the Constitution gives all of us the right to belong where we want to belong. Doesn't it give me that right? But the point is, I'm not active in there. I'm active in the women's uh, organization and reorganization. What do you regret? About what? The times that you were first lady, that where you were behind your husband, where you feel that now when you look back, perhaps you could have done things different. Are there any things that you regret at all? Um, you don't regret anything? I regret that I didn't have a, a proper office to help me, you know, get what my... What is that? I'm talking about, not the movement, I'm talking about, you know, an executive office that would have helped to manage my activities you want for to me. Run and maybe a parallel office to your president? No, 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 no. If you travel, you know that every spouse as up, what, they've got a, a, a new office for Mrs. Kufo. Is it wrong? It's not wrong. It's right. If office? I, yes. Office as in if, what? If, so, that, mean, so that when she has to go to conferences, mm. there's somebody there to do things for her. When she has to, you know... You uh, didn't have people there to no, do things for you? No. Shall I name some of them? No, I didn't. It was in, only in the last two or three years that they gave me Mr. Smith to help me. Period. But before that, but you had informal, you had, you had women that belonged the movement, to the movement, movement yes, maybe. who were around you all the time. Look, David, and there call. is a difference between executive work and there's a difference between, you know, an NGO's work. I cannot, you know, move them away to places when I have to, I've been invited with my husband to do things for me. Or if I've been invited on my own, even as a first lady, to join other first ladies. I had nobody. So what is the difference so, now, now that you have Mr. Smith? What's the difference? The, Mr. Smith is no more with me because my husband doesn't have any staff, so he's helping me, my husband. But what you regret is that he didn't have an office. No, 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 no. I, no, I mean, you had said what you regret I, is that I, you didn't I'm have. talking about a setup. That's what I'm saying. You know, I'm and now you have a chance a to set it up. No, no, I agree. But do you have that now? I'm saying, because no. now you have a chance to do it. Why, why don't you do it now? No, because I don't need it now. Now I'm solely with the movement. I was going to say something. You didn't allow me to finish. Please finish. So please now you're, you're, here you are battling with yourself. You know? No, I'm listening to you. Yeah, I was going to say that. Yeah. What I didn't have was an establishment that could do what you are talking about. Check certain, you know, things about publicity and your own uh, behavior, whether you were doing it right or not, and whether people thought what you were doing was right or not. You know, all these things could have been done if I had an establishment. I remember how Mrs. Clinton used to laugh at me, you know, because she asked me, how many people do you have in the office? 
And I said I didn't have an office. So what? You know, but that's Mrs. America. Mrs. Clinton is part of America. Excuse she me. can have an office Excuse for 100 people. Excuse me, that's America. I was this going to say the it. size of this You don't place. have to say it for me. I was going to say it myself. So why did you give the example? I'm telling you something. But you, but you are drawing parallels. I'm not drawing parallels. I'm telling you that she was surprised that I didn't even have an office. She, said, she asked me how you... 31st December Women's Movement. That's different. Why? You want it's to... It's an NGO. You want... Absolutely, but... And I, you know, please, let's, let's get certain things straight. If I go to church every day, and I'm a church leader, mm. I can use the church facilities mm. to run my business for me. Where do you go to church? Why don't you use the church to, to be running your place for you today? Is that, is that the way things are done? You tell me, is that the way things are so done? So for you, it would have been better to have one office you know that. for 31st no, 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 and you, another you office You know you know that that's, that is the best way to do it. If I were, I had nothing or I, had, I were not married to the president at the time, and I was working with the movement, you know, then it would have been a different cup of tea. Now it is different because I am working with the movement. I don't need any other office because that's my office. I have my little room there and I get on with it. And that's it. You must tell me about that. You, have, you seem to have a concern about the attitude of the government towards the movement. What is your concern? I don't know whether I should just call it government, but government agencies. You know, because um, we, have, government we have 12 different agencies asking for issues, reports. Can um, you name three for me? I can name you 12 if you want. What are I, they? National Security. Auditors General, Auditor General, Accountant General, SEPs, IRS, the regional ministers are harassing our organizers on the field. What is district harassing? chief? Okay, district chief. Sorry, I must let you complete the twelve. See, so, complete the twelve. It's all right. Go ahead. But okay, I have a fair idea who is harassing you now. Yes. What is harassment? Do you want the dictionary? No. What do you mean by the harassing? Look, David, you? if all these twelve um, organizations can request for the same materials at the same time, simultaneously, and even the tone that they use in the letters and so on. If that is not harassment, I don't know what is. Apart from that, they are, you know, uh, uh, seizing vehicles from our organizers in some regions. These are your vehicles? You? They are our vehicles, yes. Vehicles, vehicles that you own? Yes, we own them. And they are seizing them? Yes, and taking them to the BNI. Why? You should give us a reason. Because, They're harassing you? Yes, apart from seizing vehicles. They've also uh, broken into one of our projects, uh, a community center that was built with the African Development Bank money, which we will have to pay for. And, you know, uh, the district chief executive broke into it, and he has given it to people to live in. Have in you asked them why? We are right, we've written to them. We've written to them. Any ideas why they would be doing that? I don't know. I don't know why. The I mean, we, we, are, we are a women's organization, mm. empowering women economically to know their rights politically, helping them with their social amenities, just generally helping them with advocacy. And you, but you generally... And, 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 and we are harassed to this extent. Mrs. Rawlings, why? Mrs. Rawlings, do you, why? Honest, do you honestly feel that people in the current government, or people generally, will simply see you and your organization as just a neutral NGO, busy working to advance the cause. Can if, do you, look, do you, look, do, you, do, you, do you see why they can be worried about... I cannot about see why. No, you can't. Maybe, maybe because it's, a, it's, a, it's political. a mass organization. We are highly political. That I wouldn't deny. And give your because support to the NDC. Don't say that because that is not true. You don't give look, your support to the NDC. We don't even ask people what parties they belong to when, we are, when they join the movement. We don't ask what, what parties they belong to when we put projects in certain places. We don't do that. We are not partisan. You want them to leave you alone to we do your work. We want them to leave us alone to get on with the Women's Empowerment Program. I think that it's, it's an indirect way of telling us that women don't have the right to voice out whatever they want to voice out. You know, it's, it's just not right. The harassment is too much. It's not just, you know, at, at the, the uh, national level. It's also at the regional level, at the district level, and at, at, uh, why? 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 Yeah, why? but I want to myself. ask you why. Why? Because you know, I you have no idea why. Why? People I said would that want because we're, maybe we because we're a mass organization, mass so movement. Does that explain and it? I don't think it should. Yeah. But you see, people have lied about how what we are. They have lied about what we do, 
and they continue lying and believing their, and, and their and own lies. And you think the good people of we this have, country don't have the capacity to distinguish between I the lies and the truth? I hope, I hope they can. But you and I know mm. that when you tell a lie over and over again, it comes people truth. start believing that it is the truth. And that is the sad thing so about it. So it's propaganda. It. You're suffering from Too negative propaganda. Too much propaganda. A lot of negative propaganda. And whatever we did, people saw it as only propaganda. You know? I mean, yesterday, uh, I think a week ago or something, I heard that we were supposed to uh, be moving projects. from. We go and commission it here, then we move it and take it to another place and commission the same one. Can you imagine? I, could, I couldn't believe it when I heard it. I said, when did this come up? Because we move the structure or we move the machine. Those machines are solidified with concrete. So we go and break it and take it to the next place. Oh, please, if you have time and your crew has time, I'll go with you to every region just to see 10 projects. We have over 4,000 projects around, just to see 10. And then you can make up your own minds. Because you see, we are just a poor organization not poor you in must money. say that to me, you know. Not poor that 31st in money. December, we were, we were poor not poor in, in money. money. I'm not talking not about... You're money. You're rich in money. No, we're not what? rich either. But you're what? But we do get... I'm talking about poor in, in the... What? Poor in what? I, I just want to know what you're poor in. Poor in what? Poor in gender issues. Because, you know, we still have the very strong male gender thing here. So we are only a poor organization trying to push this gender thing forward. You know, is there anybody else who pushes the gender thing forward apart from a lot, the for example, a lot of a lot of women's organizations are doing that. A lot of women's organizations, that some are doing it for. Have you see the difference between the movement and the other organizations? We use a multi-sectoral approach. Is there any success being achieved in Don't advancing the Don't you want me to explain what I'm saying? The multi-sectoral approach. Yes, and that is what probably gets us into trouble. Which is what using whether it's in health or education mm. or finance for women, credit, or, you know, mm. we, a Greek, we mm. cut across. Mm. And, we, uh, and politics also. So we try to empower women from all these, on all these Have fronts. Have you succeeded? That is my question. In 20 a, in years. A, in as much as you have we been, can quantify. You have, yes, you have succeeded. In the areas that we have worked in. In empowering women. Let me give you one example. In empowering women. Absolutely. Which means what? Well, women that they are have financially changed. what? Changed. Women have changed. What, what and that? I'm sorry, yes. they are not going to go back yes. ever in, again. In what ways have let they me, changed? Let me give you one example. Yes. Women no, now are so aware of the number of children that they want to have. They are so aware that if they have too many children, the implications it will have on Do them. Do the statistics and say that? Are we getting a drop in, in, in yes, population? Yes, I can give you the data. Get, I will give you the data. And the data shows that I will give you the data. That, that population started, growth in Ghana is significantly lower now. Yes. It's significantly lower Yes, now. it was 3.5. And now it's what? It went to 3.1, mm. then 2.8, mm. 2.9, and then went to 2.8, and now we're at 2.7. Not 3. Not a 3. Yes. Please and check with UNFPA statistics. And the reason... And the UNFPA has told us mm. that of all the NGOs they are engaged with in Ghana, we are doing the best. So they are sending us to other African countries to go and help them do the same. So that's what you're going to be spending your time doing? Some of the time, most of the time, will be concentrated on my friends here, my sisters here, my communities here in Ghana. You're the former first lady. People perceive you politically. You were trying so hard to make us see you only as the president of an NGO. Can you not see that you will not be successful? In what way? In, in, in presenting a perception of just uh, David, a at no point have I said that I am not political. At no point. What about the... I've never said that. I'm interested that. in what you do with the NDC as well. But I've told you about it. That you're not doing much even though no, they give I'm you a chance. No, I'm not doing much. I'm not so doing So you much. would like to devote your time to, the, to, your, to your NGO? To the NGO. I have a lot of time for that because there are a lot of problems there. And I need to, you know, with my executives. I shouldn't talk as if I'm doing it alone, really. It's most unfair. We're doing it as a team and we're getting things done. But you you're know. the boss. Well, I am the president, but I'm not the... I'm not an... Uh, we, ha we have... Uh, You're a democratic a boss. Very much so. You allow other people No, to in our place, we call ourselves the executive standing committee. Nobody is higher than the other. You're just so when the we meet, the party, no When we so. meet and we are discussing things, the general secretary takes the chair. Thank you, Mrs. Rawlings. You're most welcome. Thank you for coming. Thank you.